Oh, welcome to G's World. We're out of the lab today in the classroom. And today's topic is viscosity. How thick or thin something is. And we're going to do an experiment to show you factors that affect viscosity. Now over here on our burner, we have some common household molasses heating up. Because one of the factors that affect viscosity is temperature. And to show you how temperature affects viscosity, we're going to do a little experiment. Now, milk cartons, always important for any experiment. Board, we need to have that. Okay, now, we always need to have an extra hand in the lab. Because you never know when you might need it. <coughs> safety, important. Always safety first. <sighs> Our goggles. Now, what we're going to do. <coughs> Heat resistant glove. We wouldn't want to burn ourselves. Because we're going to take our molasses. And open it up. Molasses, room temperature. Molasses, heat it up. Now, when we pour them on the surface... Which one will move faster, the room temperature or the heated? Let's see. Oh, where's our hand? He's going to catch it. Now, we can see here that one of the factors that affects viscosity is heat. As you add heat to a substance, it gains energy, and the particles move faster. And according to the particle theory of matter, when particles move faster, they gain energy, which gives us less viscosity. More viscosity. Thicker, thinner. Now, other factors affect viscosity, like concentration. We're done with that. Concentration. What is concentration? Some of us have trouble concentrating. Others, not so much trouble. But what we're going to look at now, I'm going to give it a shot, is concentration. In this, we have some water out of the tap. Not so nice. A little bit dirty. We're going to add some molasses to us. The more molasses we add, the more concentrated it will become. And some more molasses. We're making a little mess, but that's okay. And we're going to stir it up and mix it together. Now, with concentration, the greater the concentration, the more viscosity. The less concentration, less viscosity. And we'll take this here, and we can see, and we'll get our other glass here. Actually, we'll use one of our substitute mugs. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try concentration. We'll add some more molasses to the water, just to make it thick enough. Look at that pouring technique. It's amazing. Okay, now, stir it up. We're going to take the diluted molasses mixed with water. And the regular molasses. Close the top, get it down to the bottom. A couple of shakes, just like ketchup. Now, we're going to take the top off here, and we're going to pour. And which one is going to pour faster? The concentrated or the diluted? This one is concentrated, this one is diluted. And we see that the diluted molasses pours faster, meaning that it has less viscosity. So, what have we learned today? Temperature affects viscosity, making it flow easier or thinner. And concentration affects viscosity. The more concentrated, the more viscosity. So today on G's World, viscosity. How things flow or how things don't flow. G's World, wicked awesome. Yeah. Thank you.